data management. How do I find out what I delivered on this machine? Uh, a lot of people are using this to prevent over underloading trucks, but you can take this a step further and understand what was my tons per hour and my tons per gallon. Uh, we do have a totals menu right here from the main display. You can go into this one, two, three totals menu. You've got your lifetime totals, which gives you your cycle counts, truckload counts, total payload, total fuel, idle fuel, idle time, odometer, operating hours, um, etc. We also have trip meters for those same features. So you can come in here and set trip meters, say at the beginning of a production study, uh, run for a couple of hours, two, three hours, and give your uh, you give yourself confidence of what your productivity and efficiency numbers, tons per gallon, tons per hour are with that machine. So right there in that dis display, you've got those trip meters, a couple of them, they're the same thing, uh, just two of them. You could run one for the day and one for the week. You also have the ability to come in here for the uh, and find out your material totals. So in this case, you can see there are a few materials that have already been captured. If you want to track, say, what type of material you're running, or what trucks you've been loading, you've got that material total. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, if you go into your payload setting, payload screen, you can go to your payload settings. And on the bottom here, so if you scroll down, or I'm gonna wrap up, and uh, there's your list management. I'm gonna go ahead and look at my materials. And the way you add new materials is you just come in here and uh, go to where you're at. Say I wanna add a new material. I've got gravel in there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna basically add a new ID. Let's call it P gravel. So I've got that entered. I'll go ahead and press OK, and I'm going to save that. Yes, I want to save changes. So there they are. I'll be able to see that later on. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go back out to my payload scale. And in this case, let's say I want to track that P gravel. So I'm gonna look for where that is, I'm gonna select it. And as you select it, it's shown on the screen. So let's go ahead and get 10 tons of P gravel loaded up. I'm gonna use my tip off feature for this as well. Not that I have to, but I'm just gonna shoot for 10 tons, guys. Got that world-class accurate weight box showing. So I'm gonna dump that 6.1 tons in for my first pass, 6.1 tons. And I got those asterisks that showed up that says, yes, I've confirmed latching that to my hauling unit. All right, I probably got too much, but I'm gonna use my low level weight feature, run up my RPMs, give a smooth, steady lift out of the pile, and pretty quickly, I can have a weight on there and yes, it does show. Ah, oh, I've got a little bit too much because if I go dump this on, it's gonna be 12.3 tons. So I'm gonna go ahead and tip that material off close to my target. You can see as I dump, it meters that material. And so as I meter it, I can basically get close to that target. When I'm there, I can basically rack back and uh, we just dump off just a little bit more. There we go. In this case, I'm going to call it good for demonstration purposes. The feeling I overshot a little bit, like 9.6. Probably okay today, but uh, I'll uh, be a little bit more careful next time. On my way up to this uh, truck, I'm going to pass through my weigh range again, get a final world class accurate weight back. And yeah, I'm a little short, but uh, next time I'll be more careful. So 9.4 tons, and uh, I will dump that in there. And uh, I've got that 9.4 tons. Let's say I'm done with that. I'm gonna press store, and there it is. All right, so let's say I wanted to retrieve that data. I could find that basically right here under my totals menu, go into my material totals, and then I can look for the, that material type. And my pea gravel is basically uh, 9.4 tons. 
Okay, so now that you've been working with your wheel loader, uh, you can actually not only uh, retrieve that data on board as we showed you, but uh, you can also come into either Vision Link and see some of your lifetime totals, daily totals, but you could also come into productivity.cat.com if you've got an advanced productivity subscription. And uh, in this case, you can see I've got a dashboard set up. I've called it Operator Challenge, and I've identified my equipment group, which in this case just includes my 962 demo unit. I selected a date range. Uh, in this case, I selected the 25th through the 26th. And uh, I've got some widgets set up down here below. And you can see I've got uh, several different widgets. One of them happens to be called Material Summary. If you wanted to add additional widgets, you just come right here to this Add Widget uh, location. And there's several uh, widgets you can choose from. Uh, but in this case, you can see our Material Summary widget shows um, the uh, trucks that we've loaded as well as the material types that went into those. In this case, I was always just loading the same truck. We weren't, we weren't selecting trucks, we were just utilizing the material IDs. And so you can see some gravel that we loaded, some pea gravel and some unknown material. Some of these other widgets, you can kind of play with those and see what serves you best, but uh, there is this daily run and you can see what that machine's been doing throughout the day. Um, but also uh, you've got your uh, application totals, so different segments but also you can see from an application map standpoint, if you select on these different uh, uh, criteria, where those items happen to occur. You can see I've got my dump selected here and it shows where those dump, location, uh, dump activities occurred on that machine. If you wanted richer data beyond that, or if you wanted a separate Excel file, you could actually download that Excel file. Um, it comes in the, in a format of a CSV and I, previously pulled that down for us. And you can see right here uh, from that first example um, that we uh, did today, um, you can see that we had loaded two passes onto our truck. The first pass was 6.1 tons. The second pass was 3.4 tons for a total of two passes at 9.4 tons uh, for that truck. Uh, and then uh, it was loaded out in pea gravel. 